Hello everyone, my name is Kalani Rivera and this presentation is on Maria Quiteria, who she was and her legacy, and why she was important to Brazilian history. Who was Maria Quiteria? She is thought of as the Brazilian Joan of Arc, and also thought to be the conqueror of the independence of Brazil. However, many people have never heard of her. I mean, her picture is, is hung in the military headquarters. So she must have been someone important, right? Historians today believe that while she was living, she never received the recognition that she deserved. And while she, since she's dead now, she still doesn't receive the recognition that she deserved. It's, it's interesting to see how she contributed so much to Brazilian history, and yet so many people have never heard of her. That's what this presentation explores. It goes into her life, where she's from, how she grew up, what choices she made, and how they affected the whole country of Brazil. And... I also talk about what's being done now to commemorate her and what, how and what ways is she being remembered. Maria Quiteria de Jesus was born in 1792 and was the eldest of all of her siblings. She grew up in a poor family and ended up having to spend all of her early years working in fields in order to help support everyone. While working, she learned very important skills that would actually help her in the future. Since Quiteria didn't receive a formal education, she had to use what she learned from her parents. And these things included how to ride a horse, how to hunt, and how to use weapons. Once the war for the Brazilian Revolution began, Quiteria began working to collect donations for the soldiers who were fighting. Once she found out about the summons to fight in the army, she decided to wear some of her uncle's clothes and join without the permission of her father. She dressed herself as a male so that she would be allowed to enlist. Once she joined the army, she quickly began to earn the respect of the other soldiers and superiors. Not too long after enlisting, though, due to being mad at Maria, her father told her superiors that she was actually a woman. Once everyone found out about the truth, they still decided to let her stay in the army. This was mainly because of the skills she learned when she was younger. They saw her as a valuable soldier. Known as the first woman to serve in the Brazilian army, she inspired her superiors so much that they actually let her lead her own group of women. After doing more research, I learned that many believe that Brazil's War of Independence is actually the perfect time for Maria to spring into action. This is mainly because Brazil's War of Independence is considered to be one of the more peaceful wars. After the Portuguese royal family fled to Brazil after fighting with France, they began to appear weak. Because of this, King João returned to Portugal and left his son to control Brazil. After this, the Brazilian leaders decided that they wanted to be free from Portuguese rule. The militia insurrection began to spread throughout Brazil quickly and peacefully. After only two years of war, Portugal surrendered, giving Brazil its independence. The reason why this war is specifically thought of as a good time for Maria to, to join is because if it were any other war, if it were more violent, many believe that her achievements would have actually been overshadowed, even more overshadowed than they are now. So because of this war, she was actually able to shine and gain more recognition and attention. Women in Brazil during the 19th century did not have many freedoms and were seen as subordinates to the men. In some documents, the women in the upper class were described as being lazy and heavier than the women of the lower class. This is mainly because the upper class 
weren't expected to actually do strenuous labor, whereas the lower class women had to watch over the kids and cook and clean. During the second half of the 19th century, a group of feminists actually rose up and tried to convince everyone that women deserved the same rights as men, or at least the respect for men. They had their own newspaper and tried to spread their message that way, but of course, there were some women that were indifferent to the cause and didn't pay any mind, and then there were mainly men who didn't believe in what they were representing in general. Interestingly enough, Maria and the rest of the women who she served with were forced to leave, and this all happened by the end of the 19th century. A lot of people don't understand why they were told to leave, especially because they did so well. Maria was actually commended by the Brazilian emperor. They were used in missions to catch prisoners, and yet they still had to go. It took nearly a hundred years later, a hundred years, just for women to be reserved soldiers to the men who are in active duty. And this happened in 1980. In 1990, though, women were actually allowed to join the active duty military and serve in some capacity equal roles as men, though they weren't able to be on the front lines and be in the infantry. They were still able to hold some of the same positions the men could. Although Quiteria made history, she had a difficult life after the war. She first returned to the home that she used to live in before joining the army because she wanted to apologize to her father for running away from home. She then married her boyfriend, who she met while in the military, and they had a daughter together. Her husband died soon after, and she and her daughter were left in poverty. Quiteria ended up going blind and died in August of 1853, mainly due to the poverty in which she lived because a lot of times she didn't have food because she couldn't afford it. This is also due to not receiving her inheritance that her father left for her. Her father ended up having a second wife, which didn't really like Quiteria. Because of this, she fought Maria for years and never let her earn her inheritance. Maria was such a powerful and strong woman when she lived. And now, a lot of people don't even know about her. What's most interesting is that although she had women that worked with her while she was in the military, they were not technically allowed to join the Brazilian army as active duty soldiers, at least not until 1990. This means that the women that served with Quiteria were recognized socially, but not legally, not historically, not in documents. They were not thought of as actual soldiers during the war. Another interesting fact is that Quiteria didn't receive national commemoration until a hundred years after her death. After all that she endured and worked for, she didn't get recognition until after she died. She she wouldn't have been recognized had it not been for the public that actually demanded for her recognition. They demanded for the government to actually celebrate her. The fact that people don't talk about her as much means that she's being forgotten. It's very difficult to find basic sources about her, as well as information about her after leaving the military. And this is mainly due to that. Maria was not like the average Brazilian woman in times of war. There was a time when she was asking for donations to give to soldiers, but she later decided that she wanted to join the fight herself. In terms of the history of war in general, 
men are always the ones who fight, and the women are the ones who stay home to support them. In Brazil specifically, women would generally have jobs to support the men, such as making or collecting donations. They would also be responsible for looking after the children. Sometimes, women throughout history took their husband's work, only to stop working once the men returned home, returned home from the wars. There was usually not much freedom of decision in a woman's working history during a wartime. Quiteria represented that freedom. She represented the choice. She was already following the usual woman's path, but she decided to make her own life decisions. Due to her decisions to take her control of her own life, she inspired other women to do the same. Maria Quiteria created a new path for women, and she showed that women could be strong and work alongside men equally. Although not much is known about the latter part of her life, the many limits that Maria Quiteria broke make her not only a woman who made history, but also someone that today's little girls can be inspired by. Without warning, she would become one of the most important women in Brazilian history, as well as one of the most neglected. Her bravery changed Brazilian law and changed the way women were viewed during that time. Dressing up as a man to serve in the Brazilian army during the War for Independence showed a lot about her character. She decided that she didn't actually want to be like other women of her time. She didn't want to wait around until the end of the war. She chose to make a difference in Brazil without worrying about the consequences or whether or not people would look at her or treat her differently. Quiteria did more than what most women would have done during that time and decided to be someone different. A woman willing to demonstrate that she could not be defined by society.